In the last A-level video, I introduced you guys to moments being force times perpendicular distance. Now let's apply it to an exam question. Now mechanics guys, always tons of yap. They basically got English essays, but all they're doing is describing the diagram. So it says the figure shows a uniform plank AB, uniform meaning that the center of mass acts down the middle. It has mass 50 kg and length five meters, which overhangs a river by two meters. When a boy of mass 20 kg stands at A, his sister can walk to within 0.3 meters of B, at which the plank is in uh, limiting equilibrium. So it's still remaining horizontal. Uh, given this information, uh, what is the mass of the girl? Now you can annotate the diagram, but I always recommend guys that you just do a new one. Obviously us examiners would mark that, but you just don't want to deface it too much. Okay. So I'm not going to actually draw a rectangle here. I'm just going to do a line. So AB, its mass is 50 kg acting down the center. Now if that's five, the center would be 2.5. Okay, so I'm going to do that here. So 50 G and this would be 0 0.5. And here we have two. Okay, uh, what else have we got? We've got uh, a boy of mass 20 kg standing at A. So here we're gonna have 20 G. And this girl can walk to within 0 0.3 meters of B. So 0 0.3 meters this way, would be like this. Now we're trying to find out what the girl's mass is, right? So we'll call her M, but then we have to say G. So this is 0 0.3 and this would be 0. Point, no, 1.7, isn't it? On the other side. Now there's one more force we need. You might be able to tell every force is a downward force. If everything is a downward force, it would mean that the whole rod is collapsing. Something is stopping it from collapsing and that's the normal reaction force. It's in contact with the ground. This rod is in contact with the ground it's sitting on, okay? Now, imagine the girl was super heavy. The rod would want to do this. It'd want to tilt that way. It would want to rotate this way. So the reaction force can only act in one place. We always put it in the location in which it would be tilting. It would be tilting along the ledge, okay? So that, we're going to put our reaction force Okay, now we can work out what mg is. The first thing you might want to do, and this is usually good practice, is saying, look, all the forces are balanced, so what's pointing up must equal what's pointing down. Okay, and we do that in year 12, equilibrium of forces. But if you do that, you're going to have an unknown r equals an unknown mg and all the rest of it. If we do something else, which we would have done anyway, we can actually work out mg by getting rid of r. If I call this c, we can say there is no rotational or the rotational moment is balanced. The clockwise moment and the anticlockwise moment are balanced because the system is in equilibrium, okay? And limiting equilibrium, meaning it's just about uh, going to rotate, okay? So if we take moments about C, remember, moment force times distance, because R acts through C, its distance is zero, so it has no moment. You can think of it in terms of, Jeremiah, I showed you guys with the, uh, or explained in terms of the piece of paper. If you put your finger here and someone pushes up, the paper would move up. It would not be rotating, okay? That's why there's no moment. We just have to decide amongst these which one's clockwise, which one's anticlockwise. Now, MG, if we put our pen along here, is pointing down, so that's a clockwise. And these two, are both anti, so that's going down that way, anti-clockwise, and this one is also anti-clockwise. Okay, so we're trying to find mg, let's do that one first. So it's force times perpendicular distance, which is 1.7, equals, so in the last video, we calculated the clockwise and anti-clockwise separately because they weren't balanced, okay? We wanted to find the net force. Here, we can say because it's not moving, the clockwise and the anticlockwise are exactly the same. So we can just form an equation straight away. 
So it equals forced of 50G times this shortest distance 0 0.5 and we have 20G multiplied by this distance. What's that? Well, the whole thing is 5, so that's 5. This is 2, so this is 3. Yeah, so that must be 3 if that's 2. All right, from here we can cross off the Gs. And we could just rearrange for M. So from here, we're doing 50 times a half, so 25 plus 20 times 3 is 60. Divide that by 1.7, we get 50. 50 kg go. All right, so that's part A. What's part B, Sam? Find the smallest weight that can be added at A to enable the girl to walk to B. Okay, let's do a new diagram. So we have our plank, we have this reaction force. Now the girl is over here. We know her mass uh, is 50, so we're going to put 50 G. We have the center of mass being 50 G. And we still have the boy being 20, 20 G. Uh, but then we also have mg as well. So we're adding on an extra weight. Now I have used m already, maybe I shouldn't use m again. Let's call it x, g. Okay? And we basically do the exact same thing. Okay, nothing has changed. This is why it's worth less marks. We're doing the exact same working. It's very common in these kind of moments questions. They're literally making you do the same thing twice. The only difference is, yeah, we've added this xg, but this distance is now 2. Okay, because we took this and we moved it over to B, didn't we? This 50G is still a half away from C, we called it. So, then this is still a distance of 3. All right? So, you could do it together or you could do them separately. You could have said 20 plus XG, but we're going to be expanding it anyway. All right? So, this is still your uh, CW. These are your ACWs. So, because we're going to work out... X, let's do the ACWs. So moment around C. 3 times 20G is 60G plus 3 times XG, 3XG. And 0 0.5 times 50G is 25G equals 2 lots of 50G, which is 100G. Cross off the Gs. And then we have, what is it, 60 plus 25. 60 plus 25, 100 minus answer is 15. 15 divided by 3, x is 5. What do they want? Uh, what is the smallest weight? I mean, it does say weight. Weight is technically in terms of g. I'm going to write 5kg. It's a bit weird the way they worded that. I'm going to times it by 9.8 or 49 newtons. Okay, I think that would be the answer they want because they say find the smallest weight. Weight meaning actually if you guys wanted to, you could have called this W and then this would have been W and you would have worked out W to be 49. So just be careful of the wording here. But guys, if you learned something today, I'd really appreciate if you hit the like button, subscribe for more maths content. And if you're interested in my A-level maths courses, more details are in the description. And feel free to join the Learn Gang Reddit page if you want to submit your own questions and get feedback from the community. Nice.